Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. Let's take a closer look at cascading elements and how they can help your end users quickly fill out forms based on prior input. Let me show you a live example. Here I have a very simple submission form and the nice thing about this form is that we have the cascading element enabled on the zip code field. So if I type in a zip code you can see how as soon as I type that zip code in all the fields underneath that are automatically populated. This saves your end user a lot of time from having to input that information themselves. Let's see how we can create this inside our Caspio form. To begin, you're going to need two tables. One table that's going to store all of your main entries, and you're going to need a lookup table that's going to contain all of your parent values and child values. Let me open up my lookup table. In this specific table, I have four different columns. We have our parent value, which is the state name, and then we have the child value, which is the city name, county, and zip code. One thing to point out on the lookup table is every time you have multiple child values that belong to a single parent value, you're going to need to repeat that parent value multiple times as many child values as you have in your lookup table. Now let's go to our Caspio submission form data page and let me show you how you can apply this lookup table to all of your form elements to create that cascading behavior. Let's have a look. Once you reach the configuration of properties for each field, go ahead and highlight your zip code field or your very first field that you want to create that cascading effect. For my zip code field, at the moment, by default, it's a text field. I'm going to go ahead and change that into autocomplete. Autocomplete works like Google search. If you type in a letter or a number, underneath that field, you're going to see a list of options that's available for you from your lookup table or any other table that you specify. So in this use case, I'm going to select my lookup table of states, and I want to autocomplete by zip code field. And I'm going to choose begins with because I want to be able to input the very first number of the zip code. If you're not sure how autocomplete works, just click on the preview button now. And on the submission form, go ahead and type in a number, and you're going to be able to see a list of options that are available from that lookup table. And upon selection, I would like my other fields to populate the data that correspond to that zip code from the lookup table. So let's configure the other three fields. Here's my state field. And all I'm going to do is change text field to cascading text field. You have other options here as well. They work the same exact way. If you want to play around with cascading list box, drop down, feel free to do so. I'm going to choose cascading text field. My parent field is going to be the zip code field because we're looking at the one right above it. That's my parent field. My lookup table is going to be my state's lookup table, and we want to filter cascade by zip code field because I want to be able to show the state name based on the zip code field. Here's my city field as well. Once again, we're going to change that into a cascading text field. Parent field is going to be the zip code field once again because everything is going to cascade based on that selection. Lookup table is the same table filter based on zip code and I want to be able to display the city name and last but not least we have our county we're also going to change that into a cascading text field parent field is the zip code field same lookup table filter based on zip code and field for value will be contingent on the zip code field that's selected initially so let's click preview again to see how this looks I'll go ahead and input a specific zip code here and upon selection you can see how all the other fields are automatically populating. Feel free to explore this feature a little bit more. Like I said you can use drop downs, you can use list boxes, there are many other form elements that you can choose from. Cascading text field is not the only one but this feature will greatly enhance your forms and the usability and it's going to make it a lot easier for your end users to be able to input the data. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or feedback, feel free to use the comments section below. For additional videos and articles, please visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.